the numbers and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's another follower, another listener. If a motherfucker here listening, speaking, and just mixing into the conversation, because in reality, their opinion, like, what you stupid don't understand is there's probably somebody in the comments just like Holly that don't know about relationships mm -hmm. or don't know about how feelings or, or not even understanding that they like Holly yet. So a Holly's a, is fucking relevant to normal life. Niggas really be cheese balls, like real corn balls. Mm -hmm. Like until you That's wake up one real. day and your daughter or your son has to make the decision of their life and mm -hmm. you don't know how to handle it because you have no knowledge of or you don't understand mm -hmm. it because for the last 40 years, you've been 40 years old and fucking stupid. Luckily, I grew up I'm at fucking... 11 years old, I'm going to my motherfucking, my mother's going to look for change, and I found a fucking dildo, a strap one, nigga. I had to realize what a gay woman was, first person visually, myself. I'm sorry that some people ain't have to go through that, and you other motherfuckers don't know that people, it's, diff it's different walks of life, There's but it is, people, my nigga. Right? It's crazy that we even got to have this conversation that I ain't no kids up here. No kids, no kids that be in none of these forums. The blog don't even say, it's not even something that's logical. It's not even something that's like like, bro, a, discussion. a transgender. Whoever posted that right now. You know what kid. though? Okay, that's let me crazy. remind y'all of two things. Number one, the start of battle rap was toxic masculinity at its highest realm. It couldn't get no higher. You have a lot of fans who live vicariously through their battle rappers. They want their battle rappers to have a certain image. They want their battle rappers to look a certain way. But it's like Surf said, if we want this thing to prosper, we can't sit here and say this person shouldn't be here, that person shouldn't be here. It's fucking stupid. I laugh when I hear this. You know, I say pause, you know, people don't want certain rappers because they gay or whatever. This is fucking stupid, man. This is just idiots. I don't know what the hell y'all do or whatever y'all grew up with. My daughter came out at 13. Say something about my daughter being gay if you want to. It'd be like it a thousand people well in y'all's faces, G. Yeah. So how y'all that, just going? I don't, how y'all just going? Pick out. Yeah, I don't think nobody be paying attention. Yo, like it's thousands of people that follow For them. It's thousands, you know, we sitting here having a you conversation, know, so it, just talking. We just call it, it nigga. We, it, like, yeah, like, like, yeah. Like, like, yeah it, it wasn't nobody in this space. You know what I'm saying? So respectfully, you know what I'm saying. We definitely ain't nobody in here feeling that way, or ain't nobody in here. You know what I'm saying? Disrespecting you or disrespecting nothing you got going on. We we we, we do apologize that motherfuckers was adding you and, and coming towards you, making it feel like it was a whole community of battle rappers and battle rap bloggers. That's my fans. biggest problem, Geech. But, but, it, but, it's, but it's millions of battle rappers and battle rap bloggers who do do the weirdo shit. It just did happen to be this group of motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. definitely can't see who did do it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he corny for that. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't nobody over here. Everybody up here been speaking on like some whole other shit this whole morning. It wasn't no nothing directed Just, yeah for y'all bloggers for the bloggers and fans and like all that, that shit like that. that's not gonna make a nigga unfollow so, like you feel me like motherfucker holly gotta follow from the conversation in the spaces like niggas ain't running around you feel me un like following like you know what i mean or unfollowing like that's weird mm -hmm. i like normally when i have a good conversation with a bunch of motherfuckers i normally follow the whole stage we're having an adult conversation sitting there like game night you know what i mean with a bunch of adults i follow everybody that's on the stage that i'm talking to that's just the way i am you get what I'm saying? Like, and don't fuck and surf. Tell a yeah. motherfucker, don't be mad because you you threw this motherfucker gulag surfing and you clicked on a picture profile and you found shit that you didn't like. You exactly. Should've clicked on a fucking picture. That's what it really like, is. Like, come on, my nigga. You 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 should be blogging on your fucking self because you you down here thirst balling, nigga. That shit yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Well, well, I just want to apologize to surf for your space all rowdy and stuff earlier. I do apologize because that's not how you conduct yourself on this app, you know. You straight. And, just don't um, let just don't let these yeah, motherfuckers get you caught up in it. Just don't let these motherfuckers get you get get caught up in the getting out of character. That's it's very that because it it seemed like you know what I mean. It'll seem like it hurt you more than the next motherfucker if it matter. You feel me type shit like you going mm -hmm. especially in the situation that you in in the life that you in. You going to deal with a whole heap of that shit. All of, like all of us Come made decisions mind. that we got to deal with. I I got to I get shunned and looked at because I'm in a gang and shunned and looked at because of this and shunned and looked at because of that. You got to be stronger than that. These motherfuckers is weird and these motherfuckers don't be comfortable with themselves. That's the first thing. That's the first thing. A nigga of uh, have not seen his child in five years and to make a blog about somebody's sexual decision or a motherfucker be living in a one bedroom shack and be worried about a motherfucker's sexual decision. These motherfuckers don't be comfortable with themselves. 
And that's where all these hateful ass comments and conversations Definitely. come from. That's all mm -hmm. it is. Because yeah. if you like, you never hear the people that's okay. Yo, you don't see Jay Z talk about nobody. Just think about it. The everybody, the motherfuckers that's okay, they never talking bad They're about okay. people. They're mm okay. -hmm. Jay Z never talk about a nigga. You never hear Jay Z talk about somebody. So yeah, like I was just said, like, if I, I was on Facebook with my friends the other day, and I, it was it was a guy who was actually in your panel as a speaker. He came over and um yeah, he was just being real disrespectful and shit like that. To like we apologize. Like, it's all love, Holly. You heard from the battle rap community. It's all love. You feel me? Like any anytime you see something that say Midnight Madness or Battle Rap or some of these names that you see, motherfuckers is good people. You heard. And just stay away from the weirdos. I'm about to bring my homegirl up. I'm going to move so, you down. Thank you guys respectfully. You already did. Yeah. You too. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then, no <laughs> funny shit. Like, nah, what Geechee said is facts. But then, like, it'd be the small shit, bro. Then you'll look up and you'll really, under, like, you'll really not understand why certain battle rappers is at certain levels. And certain, I got a half a million followers. You don't think none of them gay or none of them trade or none of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. now, another motherfucker, I have 30,000 followers. And not and still not understand why he's there. You motherfuckers hmm. is not likable, marketable, or smart enough to know that, bro. People's gonna be all different colors, shapes, sizes, and sexual. But man, I'm not. Y'all ain't about to get me in here preaching about it. <laughs> these niggas keep not. I'm gonna keep letting these niggas not make money. Shitting me. That's more money for you. The LBG community. The LBG community is the character. richest community. Period. Yeah, because niggas. I tell niggas this, sir. Life is the biggest drug. Perception is the second, bro. Mm -hmm. Yes. These Man, are the facts. Fact. First of all, all these motherfuckers that be owning these companies with these million gazillion dollar dollars uh, and these big ass businesses and owning teams and basketball teams, these motherfuckers be gay as shit. And you just mm -hmm. are your favorite designer. You walking around with such and such on. Don't even know that man like balls. If hmm. that's the case, if you want to be that tricky about it, a lot of these motherfuckers designers be gay of the shit you wearing. You ain't thinking about it then. Some of these niggas you run around with that can't stay out the jail. You don't know that that motherfucker boyfriend now stays. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why he can I'm it. It. These niggas be country as hell, bro. I just I, I don't know how these niggas be getting so country, bro. Well, hey y'all. Good morning. I don't know what I walked into, but good morning. What up, bro? Mm -hmm. bro.